the sine wave yeah. output drive circuit and uh, this is uh, what I have tested. Uh, uh, this area here is the sine wave generator. Here is actually uh, a circuit to split the sine wave generator into antiphase 180 degree uh, uh, phase shift uh, from the original signal. Uh, to have two signals where you compare the sine wave, the two sine wave in antiphase here with a, a triangle uh, signal here at uh, 20 to 40 kilohertz. Uh, I have not really measured the frequency on this one. Uh, I think it's around uh, uh, 20 to 25 kilohertz. Uh, uh, compare it with the sine wave uh, signal here and then you have a pulse width modulated signal output here and then here you have a full bridge setup like I used I showed you you remember I said you can replace that other side where the blue line is uh, 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 demarcating with this circuit here so that you have a sine wave output uh, mm, this is what is called a quadrature uh, sine wave oscillator you can use the booba no problem but what i find out uh, why i liked the quadrature is that the amplitude of the sine wave was plus minus equal to the amplitude of the triangle wave because that's what you really need to do if you are using any other oscillator here or any other oscillator for the triangle the signals that you compare here must be equal in amplitude and so that you compare and have a, a balanced output signal there so the quadrature in this setup here were giving out the same plus minus amplitude i didn't need to amplify any of the of the two right as you can see here there is no amplification here this, this is a, a non-inverting circuit this is 8k 8,2k this is 8,2k so no amplification here is just a voltage follower so no amplification at all this is basically well, creating a non-polarized uh, capacitor there but of high value uh, this would be five microfarads capacitors in series the uh, equal capacitors in series will give you half the capacitance uh, it has to be this big because if you use a small one the signal shape that appears there won't be sine wave what you have here is a sine wave that is actually uh, half uh, raised to half the power of this of the circuit that is around seven mm, seven uh, volts and you actually compare that uh, sine wave with a, a set uh, reference uh, that value being one diode above that value there so uh, they'll show you um, what what that effect is so you have a sine wave that is actually switching uh, uh, yeah switching uh, uh, one it starts to switch when it's above uh, that value of the diode signal here and the other one switches when it's going down uh, to the value uh, half uh, at the value of one diode uh, uh, below uh, that side there so this circuit will give you a square wave which is um, balanced and it will select these two easily let me show you what i mean right. uh, uh, consider this is a sine wave of course uh, i'm using a sine wave uh, you have a signal like this this is the smallest signal like uh, uh, when it's very small and it actually it actually be amplified here like uh, going up mm, to there to there to there but this is the principle of operation of that circuit this circuit here so what you have is the reference point is raised half the power supply rail so this signal is raised by half and uh, if you are supplying 15 volts it's raised to 7 volts and then th that signal centered on 7 volts 7.5 volts yeah, you have a signal that actually has to pass the diode value going up. So when it goes 
above the diode value, meaning we are looking at this uh, comparator here. Uh, that's when you have a pulse, an output, a high on the output of the comparator. Otherwise, it is a low. It's the same with this one. Compared when it passes the this line here, the diode value, that's when you have a, a pulse. So we are saying this this value here, when it goes lower than that, you have a high, meaning that uh, that value here. Uh, is actually a diode, uh, a diode uh, level below the center line, which is below 7.5 volts. So when it goes under 7, uh, you have a pulse, a high pulse. So that's how it actually basically works. And, uh, so this is the pulse region and pulse region. So there is a point where there is no pulse. So that's the dead time. So our signal we have a dead time and uh, that's a very good uh, uh, signal output so you can actually have this one to drive a, a, a modified sine wave or a modified square wave inverter uh, using uh, either a, a, a triangle wave here or a sine wave so i'm using that one to actually select which pulse uh, with modulated signal has to drive the mosfets so when you select this one, it means this one is low. So you have a pulse width modulation output from that side, driving high in there. The other side is actually a low, meaning that you have selected a, a, a low and a high. Remember, now you have to actually select uh, this MOSFET and that MOSFET together. Select that one and that one. So that's why if the top one is the one selecting this one. It means uh, uh, the top side has to select the lower side because I've used the that square wave to drive the lower MOSFETs. The square wave of the selector are actually driving the lower MOSFETs only. And then the pulse width modulated signal is driving the top. So select this one using the top. So the top side selects the low goes to the low this one is a low there's no output low here that's zero volts so no output there and this one we having an output select high and a low there this one driving this low mosfet and that one driving the high mosfet that one and then the opposite is true for the other side so this is how this circuit works and uh, you can produce a sine wave output I'll, I'll do this project next so this is my next project and uh, as you can see here this is the high voltage uh, uh, bus which is 340 volts oh, it depends on your design so 340 volts dc here appearing there you have to switch it using a pulse with modulated signal fuse the setup similar to the other one but here with the most with a with a, a capacitor an x2 capacitor which is we can put across an ac uh, power line uh, you can mm, adjust that value depending on your design and uh, the test that you do is an output the VDR are still the same the uh, inductor here for filtering so this is should be a low pass filter uh, so you can use actually a commercially available uh, filter module here the microcontroller will actually uh, control mm, the, the on and off of the outputs of this um, ICs please use the IR2113 or similar because you need to drive mm, these MOSFETs well, with a high current driver this is basically the circuit well it will be powered uh, using 15 volts so 15 volts power there 15 volts there no negative supply like uh, my previous designs this is a single supply circuit use the TL084 the MOSFET or the FET input uh, uh, op amps uh, I figured out that some op amps will not produce a very good signal but I've used the uh, the FET uh, op amps this is a FET op amp this is a FET op amp that one ordinary uh, comparator LM3 
uh, you can use the LM393 but uh, two of them of course because you need four comparators here you can use uh, even the the dual uh, op amps but they should be fed input op amps but of course you would have one two three op amps but if you use the quad uh, op amps you can have one op amp of course this will be a dual okay I think this is much about it. Uh, this is my next project. I'll, 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 I'll do this. I've already have a, a, a circuit for it. And I'll show you the uh, snapshots of uh, the output signal as far as the, this output here. Uh, that other side, I have not uh, done it yet. I'll have to build an inverter and then buy the, these two ICs and then drive my MOSFETs. Right. Here is the signal for the pure sine wave uh, generator um, this is the quadrature output uh, the quadrature output from the uh, generator uh, the, sine, the sine wave and as you can see it's on two holes per division there so that's the amplitude of the quadrature and uh, this we type 4 to 2 oscilloscope from tectronics is an old oscilloscope but uh, well, uh, I've been using it for some time now. It works. It's okay. It's a good oscilloscope. Right. So the signal from the uh, quadrature oscillator there. This is the quadrature oscillator here. Uh, and, uh, let me show you quickly with a pointer. Right. Here is the, the, the quadrature oscillator. Uh, that one. Okay. So the quadrature oscillator. And uh, from the quadrature oscillator. It goes to the to the split circuit here, and then from the split circuit it goes to the comparator here, and then from the comparator it goes to the uh, logic gate here. Here is the uh, uh, triangle wave generator here, the high frequency triangle wave generator, the carrier. Right, let me change uh, the oscilloscope probe and put it right. Uh, uh, now, I'm um, measuring the output of the carrier wave, which is the triangle generator. Here is the output from the triangle wave generator there, and it's on uh, it's on uh, zero comma one milliseconds per division. Okay, and uh, that would be. Uh, let me just try to get the frequency there. Mm, okay. At, uh, that's uh, one at 50 microseconds per division. It's covering uh, one division. So it's a 50 period is 50 microseconds. Okay. 50 microseconds. And then we can calculate what frequency is that. Okay, 50 microseconds. Uh, you can check the amplitude there. Yeah? Right, compare that amplitude to uh, this amplitude here. Okay, to that amplitude there. You see that they are equal. So that's what I was saying. The amplitude of the quadrature is equal to the amplitude of the carrier wave. Okay, right, let's, let's go maybe. <coughs> to do the output uh, of the whole circuit, uh, like I showed you, this is the selector output. Uh, selector output, uh, let me change. Okay. Selector output, yeah, that's the selector output. Okay, it's on five milliseconds per division and you can see that it's uh, around 20. Yeah, that's around 20, 20 uh, micro uh, milliseconds, 20 milliseconds for the period. Okay, right, the output. Uh, right, this is right. That's the output. That's the output of the comparator 
output from the comparator. Uh, not nice looking. Okay. Okay. Output from the comparator. Yeah, after just comparing. Okay. Now, I uh, want to show you the output of. The 4093 output from the 4093. Uh, that's the output from the 4093. Right, uh, I think you can see here the, the division. The, uh, the square waves are now not necessarily square wave, they are actually switch. Uh, not very much visible there. That's the switch square wave. It's not completely like it's a it's, it's actually a sweet output okay you can see here i uh, think here you can see here yeah. okay uh, all right uh, so that's the signal output uh, 